This video will discuss the windows and doors for the Dollar Store dollhouse. I experimented with several options for the windows. I first looked into purchasing dollhouse windows, but this would have been economically unfeasible and went against the idea of making this from items obtained at the dollar store. I started with foam sheets and tried cutting out the mullions for a 9 over 9 window pane and considered a few variations. However, I decided this would be far too much work to achieve the desired effect for all the windows. I also considered cutting the window frames using foam board but ultimately did not use this approach since I thought it looked a bit bulky and would require a lot of clean cuts to make this look good. I also tried using the foam sheets to create a frame over a window pane printed on a transparency. This led me to the design for the window frame to be cut out of foam sheets. I designed the window frame on the computer to be a two-piece top and under mount frame. The two pieces would add dimension to the window. The inoperable window frames will be mounted from the inside of the window opening. I liked the result with the printed window frame and chose to move forward with this design. The process starts by gluing two foam sheets together with a glue stick. After these dry, I used a template window frame to transfer onto the foam sheet. Only the inner corners are marked on the sheet, then I used an X-Acto knife and straight edge ruler to cut out the openings. Each of the casing windows requires four of the foam sheets. There are a total of 26 casing windows on the house. I treated the window frames with spray paint but found it necessary to paint the inner edge with white craft paint before applying three coats of spray paint. To achieve the look of a 6 over 6 window pane, I created the design on the computer with a three-dimensional mullion pattern and printed several copies onto transparencies at the Photoshop. I was a bit disappointed to learn they could not print white and this resulted in a grayscale printing. I chose to enhance the mullions with an antique white paint to add some dimension against the stark white used for the window frames. This took some effort to tape off the grid to paint the mullions. I painted onto the printed side of the transparency so that the painted side would be facing inward and the unpainted side would be facing outward. The 3D mullion with the paint behind it would create the illusion of depth. I had to scrape off the paint bleed and clean up the transparencies so this was more work than I anticipated. I like the appearance of the pane windows, but since the interior of the house was not finished, I needed to darken the windows to mask the view. I had some leftover window film and chose to use this to filter the light. A water solution is sprayed to the painted side of the transparency and the window film is applied to the surface with a squeegee. This clings to the surface. The individual windows are cut from the transparency sheets and glued to the back of the window frames. The undermount window frame is then glued to the overmount window frame to produce the cased window. These are set aside until later to attach to the window openings of the house. The inoperable doors were first designed on the computer. The foundation of the door uses the foam board and the raised panel details were created with the overlapping foam sheets. Each panel is comprised of two pieces with the top piece just slightly smaller than the bottom piece to provide the illusion of a beveled edge. The sides of the door were framed with coffee stirrers and the remainder of the pieces were fitted to complete the door frame and transom. These were spray painted with the same white paint used for the window frames. The transom window 
was produced with the same method as the other windows and glued to the back of the door. The door was the last item to be attached to the house and this was glued to the inside support around the door. Additional videos will further discuss incorporating the windows and doors with the house. Thanks for watching.